In this video I'll show you the mechanism of the Archimedes Model D. I've removed the, uh, the carriage. The carriage is uh, fairly straightforward. It's uh, very easy to remove, it just has a little switch here, a little catch, and that allows you to uh, remove the bar that attaches it to the rest of the machine. The, uh, yeah, here are all the wheels for the counter and for the register. At this end you have a bell and this last wheel of the, uh, of the, uh, the counter, if, you, uh, yeah, if that goes beyond 9 and rolls over to, to 0, it triggers this little bell. These uh, metal uh, strips, those are for the clearing me mechanism. If you pull the, the uh, clearing lever that uh, pushes against the cam that uh, straightens all the wheels. So that's very straightforward and here on the machine itself you see uh, what drives those wheels. For each wheel uh, you have this um, two uh, driving uh, other wheels and by changing these, uh, these switches you change which one of those two is driving the, uh, the wheel uh, in the register or, or in the counter. And yeah, because these, uh, these wheels always turn uh, to the right clockwise, Normally, this top one is uh, is connected. Oh, sorry, this this bottom one is connected, and uh, yeah, that drives the wheel uh, anti-clockwise and increases it. But when you switch it, the other one gets connected, and that pushes the top edge of the the number wheel to the right, and that moves it clockwise in the other direction. What you also see here are these uh, small uh, switches and uh, those are the carry mechanism. Each, each wheel in the, in the register it, they have a small pin pointing out as you can see there and uh, that, uh, yeah, that pushes this little switch and that uh, triggers the carry mechanism and ensures that the next one up will turn one step extra. So if this one is, is triggered you'll see this one move one step and then this, this is reset. The timing uh, of each of these is sequential so that uh, a carry in the lowest digit will carry over before the carry for this one is executed. So you can have a, a rolling carry from 9999 to 1000. So uh, yeah, at the left here, and uh, if I turn the crank halfway, now I can shift this and it'll It'll turn this, this, uh, these wheels near the end of the turn of the crank. And this, uh, this switch isn't actually reset until the start of the next uh, turn of the crank. Uh, let me now show you the underside. I've already removed this whole lino uh, uh, cover that's on the other underside. Uh, let's tilt this up. There we go. It's very heavy of course. But here you can see the uh, keyboard mechanism. Each column has these, this row of hooks. These are all uh, levers linked to one bar. These hooks go from quite shallow at the top to 
quite uh, deep at the bottom and uh, yeah when you press a key that pushes against a hook to move the, uh, the, the lever a little bit and if you press one of the keys with the higher value it presses against a hook that moves the lever quite a lot. So yeah the, the key near the top moves this a little bit, key near the bottom moves this a lot and what uh, yeah what is driven by these uh, these uh, levers is a small uh, uh, small gear that you can just see moving there that uh, yeah that moves along the uh, axle and its location on that axle uh, determines where on the stepped drum it engages and that in turn determines how far the axle will rotate when the crank is turned. Here is this, this row of stepped drums and uh, yeah, the interesting thing about the Archimedes is that the, uh, these axles are fairly close together, closer together than most of the uh, competitor machines of this. Uh, the step drums are smaller but more than that, they've cut away all the extraneous uh, parts. So all the parts where there isn't any, uh, aren't any teeth, there is no ridge, that's all cut away. And what's left is a stepped drum that has only uh, teeth on one side. And these, these stepped drums are so close together that the space between them is shared. So when you turn the crank, you will see that first uh, this, this step drum is using the space between them, but as soon as it clears that space, the other step drum comes in and uses that same space. So as I turn the crank, you see that the, uh, yeah, the space is alternately used by one step drum and then the other. And that nearly halves the space between the axles. And that allows yeah, the digits in the register to be much closer together than on any other machine. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the uh, mechanism of the Archimedes Model D. Thank you for watching.